Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has scored a major win for Kiwis living in Australia. A commitment from Canberra to work on a pathway to citizenship by Anzac Day next year. Her Australian counterpart, Anthony Albanese, also said he would apply common sense to 501 deportees who have no significant ties to New Zealand. His political reporter, Imogen Wells. The Trans-Tasman Prime Minister's looking like the best of buddies. We're friends almost all of the time, uh, <laughs> except for Vladislav time. Each flanked by some of their ministers too, including Finance Minister Grant Robertson, who's only just come out of COVID isolation. It's a million bucks, doesn't it? Yeah, I know, right? yeah. The extra ministerial reinforcements there because there was a lot to discuss. There are no closer friends than Australia and New Zealand and today's discussions uh, reflected that and also reflected uh, the reset in relations. That relationship reset getting a huge win. The promise of a pathway to citizenship for Kiwis living in Australia is coming as early as next year. We don't want people to be temporary residents forever and what we'll do is we'll work on ways of a pathway to citizenship. No New Zealander or Australian should be re rendered permanently temporary. That is a step change in the way that we've previously seen New Zealanders treated here. A step change which could see New Zealanders in Australia finally given the right to vote and a softening of who was deported under the 501 policy. We'll act as friends and we'll work through uh, those issues in a common sense way. What we've been seeking is common sense and the spirit of friendship. But it wasn't just our two countries discussed, others came up too, China and the Pacific. We wish to remain uh, a security partner of choice. The two leaders did have the opportunity to meet somewhat more informally on Thursday night at the Australian New Zealand Leadership Forum, a coming together of Kiwi and Aussie business leaders, the first time it's happened since 2019. My friend uh, Jacinda uh, will work really closely together in, in coming times. The best the trans-Tasman relationship's been in years. In Sydney, Imogen Wells, News Hub.